All right, everyone. It's me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I had an okay night's sleep last night. It wasn't the best. Problem is, I actually swallowed a little bit of my saliva right before I had to go to bed. So, like now, I'm like coughing and hacking a lot still. And then my sleeping uh, headband thing with the Bluetooth. Uh, what you call it? It still smelled a little bit like the uh, detergent that I used. So, you know, I had, I had to put that away, so I had a little bit of trouble sleeping. But yeah, all that crap is still, and I guess now that I'm getting older, right, you know, now, now I'm just coughing and hacking. Um, I guess because my lungs are still trying to get out those whatever or overreacting or something. So, yeah, I chugged a bunch of vitamin C uh, chewables, so I think it's a lot better now. So, also by talking... I think maybe that kind of also dries out a little bit of the inside of my lungs too, because obviously it has to exhale air every time I talk. So maybe that'll help a lot too, because it, it's just simply water, right? So yeah, so let's hope that works. Anyway, we're up to Clown World number 344. Thank you to the one person that subscribed. So surprisingly, this thing somehow still grows. I have no idea how or why. But I guess it doesn't really matter anymore anyway. Because now that I'm thinking about it, I probably, you know, want, don't want to get too famous when the game's out. Because, you know, I don't want a bunch of people to come in, play the game because they really love it. And then they just leave shortly thereafter once they, you know, see that there's not much content there. Because obviously the game is basically in its, you know, pre-baby or pre-alpha stages. I wouldn't even say it's alpha or beta uh, uh, testing mode. Not as in, you know, male, female, alpha, beta, uh, beta, male kind of thing, but alpha and beta is a different term in computer programming, right? Alpha comes first, then the beta comes second, right? Because now it's like, you know, uh, it's in beta testing phase. That's what it's called. And, you know, a lot, a lot of you should be familiar with that term. And then it's ready for release, quote unquote. And then, you know, it's one version 1 1.0 or whatever. So it's alpha, beta, then retail release you know my game is going to be in pre-alpha so i don't even want to be telling too many people about it and what's nice is because i'm making a game it should be pretty easy for me to market it and get free advertising so i don't even have to pay for advertising and marketing i gotta make sure the game is actually fun and good in fact if i go survive.io right that's the battle this battle royale game uh you can see that this game was already listed on something called crazygames.com uh, game by Justin Kim, uh, and you know this thing actually hooks into the server here. Um, let's see, frenemies ending soon. Uh, oh yeah, I have an ad block on here, but um, yeah, I could submit my game to here. So I think what I think what they do is they'll leech off of my servers, but maybe they'll give me a little bit of the income that this website generates. And of course, they get people to play the game, so it's actually pretty impressive. It'll be interesting, and then I think, let's say my game's on here, and then, you know, you do the micropayment thing, all right, it'll still access coinpayments.net, so I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to, how, how that's going to work eventually, so, yeah, so, you know, I'll, I'll be pretty good, oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I went over it real quick, uh, so the thing I wanted to show you was this part right here, there's a lot of ups and down votes, but mostly up votes, of course, so that's a lot of people, and most people don't actually hit these buttons, all right? I happen to just always hit the button, because I like, obviously, speaking my mind when I can. Uh, and uh, whatchamacallit, but most people don't, so there's a lot of people that go here. Um, let's see, crazygames.com. Let's see, what's the traffic on this site? Uh, crazygames.com. Uh... It is 1,023 in the world with an engagement time of almost five minutes. Yeah, so this thing literally gets tens of millions of uh, unique visitors a month. Possibly millions, a couple million a day. All right, that's a lot of video gamers. Okay, so yeah, uh, you know, so, you know, God's plan, you know, clearly is working, right? I just have to try to stay calm, stay still and listen. So he's like, you know what? Well, you have other people acting like Nick Fuentes. You don't need to do that. What you need to become is like, you know, you know, we need somebody in Hollywood, right? You know, the new right has failed in its task. All right, because obviously they've given in to Satan and the devil and 
No, I'm trying not, I mean, I'm not angry about it anymore and I'm not trying to judge them, but it is true, right? And because uh, I don't see those so-called new right people uh, helping out either with the culture war if for real, right? Condemning the degeneracy in America, like actively going against it. Or I don't see them, you know, uh, condemning at minimum the censorship of Nick Fuentes, right? Because it's very easy to condemn the censorship, say, pretend you're a free speech warrior, and it says, yeah, I don't like Nick Fuentes, but, you know, he has a right to speak like the rest of us. His banning should be a concern of all. That's all they have to do, and they can't even be bothered to fucking do that. So now the task falls to me. So, you know, but don't worry, you know, my game will make sure we focus on uh, fake conservatives as well. Because basically it's just a reflection of, you know, our political situation now. So, you know, it would make for a good story. Because even though we're the quote-unquote good guys, we're not perfect. And I want to make sure that imperfection is actually a, a really big focus of the story. You know, as I get better at, like, you know, uh, being a better Christian. Because of all the re Christian resources I've been studying so far i really obviously like jesse lee peterson's the best because that's the one that just seems to be the most consistent because a lot of the other stuff i read the problem is i can easily tell there are a lot of i think they're called bible thumpers like you know they say it says right here you must do it it's like i don't know that just sounds angry and judgmental and inflexible also a lot of people have sinned even says so in the bible some even committed murder but god was still okay totally cool with them right as long as they gave in to god so it's like it, you're already contradicting yourself and that's like a big reason why people don't like Christ, uh, christians either so i you know we're gonna have to sort out this well all right i have to sort out this mess eventually and i'm sure i will so anyway uh bitcoin searches for last week has been finalized at 13 right uh so data is obviously still not out for this week yet because obviously it's just today it's monday morning and of course, Google does actually readjust numbers uh, as time goes on. So, uh, you know, they're pretty committed to giving uh, accurate numbers in Google Trends. That's actually, that's actually why they're so good at censorship, because they know exactly what to look for, how to target it, and then, how, and then write the simple script or algorithm to, like, do whatever you want, which in their case is just simply uh, delist it or blacklist it, right? Uh, oh, yeah, speaking of which, uh, there's a site that I can no longer mention, um, that uh, actually, like one of the Google search news terms actually told the CNN guy, this was already reported a lot, by the way, on certain dissident right websites, that actually said, oh yeah, they got, they bypassed our black uh, blacklist list. We'll make sure we remove them, right? Even though Google's CEO already told Congress, we do not run blacklists, right? So he obviously lied to Congress, but the reason why they're not uh, in trouble is because it was not under oath. So technically they can lie and then there's just no uh there's no con crime committed so you know our 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 uh, fucking piece of shit government country is just like corrupt and evil and you know it's all bullshit so oh well uh everybody will uh you know well we all get what we deserve eventually so eventually evil will be uh punished and then we'll put a lot of people in jail and then we'll fix everything so in the meantime uh we're gonna have to suffer with bitcoin and crypto for a while so bitcoin dominance is at 62.9 percent so it went up a lot, almost 2% from yesterday. Uh, I think it's up 1.9% from yesterday or so, or 1.8. It's mostly because the altcoins are taking, like, the biggest beating in, like, you know, uh, in, like, what, a couple months, right? I mean, I guess I guess it had to happen at some point, right? We were going up so much over the past few months. Uh, I guess it did have to, you know, uh, recoil backwards at some point. At least so far, it does look like, because what the most important coin is actually Bitcoin. As long as this thing is not correct, then the altcoins, even if they all drop like a rock, they'll eventually just, but they see that Bitcoin is still standing kind of strong, right? Then then, all, then eventually the altcoins will snap back to where it should be so it can remain correlated with Bitcoin. Because you can't have Bitcoin like going, you know, one direction, like flatline or a little bit up or a little bit down, and everybody else just goes straight down. That's just not how it works, right? You know, it's, uh, you know, we're all, all these cryptos, we're all in it together, essentially. 24 hour volume is a crazy 193.3 billion so the rich people are shuffling a lot of money around uh, in fact basically they look like they're just dumping all their money out of altcoins they were dumping bitcoin but it looks like they're kind of deciding right now if they want to exit bitcoin so there's still a possibility that everything can go to shit for this week right but uh, we'll just see what happens 
Uh, Bitcoin 9560, uh, it's down 3.16%. Uh, Litecoin's down to 71.42, it's four, minus 4.42%. Uh, it looks, like, looks like Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV is starting to recover a little bit from their little cratering here. Uh, and of course, Craig Wright is like, you know, still stirring up trouble. Like, quite frankly, I don't understand how this guy's not in jail. Like, I, I seriously don't. Um, unless he's being paid by uh, government agents to screw everything up, you know, that, then then a lot of things would make sense. Three to, uh, dollar coins, three twenty one million market cap. Essentially, it's down six point thirty nine percent. So this looks uh, pretty nasty. It basically, it's just going straight down. If you look at the price pattern, They're not even a uh, indicator flatlining. So we might be in for a bumpy ride this week, which is a shame because you know I think it was like a couple of days ago I said that like it look everything looks good, so we should be going up. But there's a possibility it might go down. Well, unfortunately, uh, we rolled a we rolled a one, right? For anyone who plays video games, right? We rolled a one, <laughs> so that's like the lowest number you can roll, and then we got completely fucked. So uh, yeah, it's just how it goes. Steam's at twenty one point thirty one cents, so it looks like it's finally starting to stabilize, you know. But yeah, it, pretty much with the exception of a couple of these random coins, yeah, everything's like red. And it's kind of like a nice chunk of red too. So, uh, who knows? And I checked the news, too, before I even started recording. Like, basically, um, there doesn't seem to be anything crazy in terms of fundamentals. So, there's no real trigger. Uh, today's President's Day, so... Oh, that's the other thing, too. I forgot that today was President's Day, because to me, every day is a holiday. Because I was like, work at home. Yeah, yippee. Uh, for now, obviously, if these things don't go up, like as we're about to see, you know, or maintain its price, you know, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to, you know, go back to doing background acting work, you know, just to buy myself a little bit of time until, like, you know, everything goes up quite crazy. My insurance policy and Litecoin kicks in, you know, I, and I dump Litecoin at like sixty to hundred grand when Bitcoin's like a million dollars, right? You know, blah blah blah. Uh, and then, see, the thing is, because I'll be working, that means I'll be slowing down the development of the game as well, so, but, yeah. But, I mean, I do technically get what we deserve, right? You know, because, you know, it's, uh, because, A, I never actually developed a use case because I never was resistant to learning programming. Now that I'm getting back into it, you know, and, you know, trying to listen to God, yeah, you know, it's like, all right, well, you know, I just got to go back and, you know, confront, you know, my past habits. It's really not that bad. Also, there is value in waiting because in technology, and that's the thing, technology actually encourages you to be lazy because things get better and better and better, right? Because there's always new patches out. There's always new versions of Unity out. There's always new, you know, new upgrades, right? So it gets better and stronger, you know? So eventually, you know, uh, you know, it's going to be very easy to just start programming, right? You know? The hardest part for me is, oh, I don't have to do that much. You know, I just have to do scripting. My programming is really scripting because I don't have to do about the, worry about the artwork because I'm not an artist. So I, I know. So all I have to do is just hire somebody. There's plenty of starving artists uh, out there who are pretty good at what they do. Um, let's see. And uh, yeah. And one thing I'm thinking about is I should think of. I'm thinking about actually maybe I should go on Deviant Art. Like, there's a lot of good artists there too. The problem is a lot of them are probably like very far left liberals, and they're not gonna like working for a, uh, you know, a right wing Christian dude. So that could be a potential problem. So yeah, and that's the thing too. I actually checked to see what is this person. Is he uh is he a white dude? Is he a European slash Russian? If the answer is yes, then I'm probably okay for them to hire him. But I still want to see you know who or what they are, right? So that's why I also look at their name too. So. You know, because the last thing I want is somebody sabotaging my project and then, you know, yoinking all my money, right? So, anyway, JFC coin seems to be doing all right, as always. It's three to four, now that the wallet's operational again. Important to burp so I don't get hiccups. You know, things should be uh, selling pretty well. Given the, given this, given how everyone's just pulling money out of cryptocurrency, JFC is doing actually all right. Uh, in fact, it looks like the sell side for JMC is actually getting weaker, which is kind of surprising. First time in a long time. For four coin, though, on the other hand, is just uh, getting punched in the face like you wouldn't believe. Uh, fought, but at least the buying has finally kicked in. Um, I, I completely forgot that was a three-day weekend. 
So that actually would be a huge factor in trade volume also being pretty shitty here. In addition to current market forces where everyone's just dumping crypto. So, uh, and there's no fundamental reason for it. So it's just a huge profit taking. Um, so in real time, it looks like uh, 404 coins finally going back on the upswing. So, yeah, actually, yeah, someone's buying a shit ton, thank God. Because um, I actually looked at my, I actually looked at the market cap. It's way undervalued. It is way undervalued. It's supposed, it should be worth a market cap on CoinGecko of like eighty one thousand dollars. Right now, it's at like what eleven to twenty one thousand. So. Uh, you know, why do the guesswork? Let's just look it up. Let's see. What's the market cap of 404? Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, how are you about feeling about 404 today? Yeah. I, I'm, curi I'm curious to know if this is a, a, a lagging indicator or a, 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 a predictor. That'll be kind of interesting. Uh, I don't even know what this 2% depth thing means. Um, yeah. Okay, so all right, so all right, so let's just say twenty one thousand one hundred because this thing's a little laggy. So basically, if it's supposed to be worth four times more in the market cap, that means the real price should be from six to seven to twenty four to twenty eight. So let's say it's really underpriced. Unfortunately, because the supply is now starting to reach, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess yeah, critical mass is the term I'm looking for. And it doesn't like uh, the difficulty is not raising arising quickly enough, right? So it's kind of an irritating thing. So I don't know, but you know, at least it's good to finally see some buying resistance because this is just ridiculous. But you know, four four coins gonna be in for a lot of pain for a little bit. But you know, oh well. Um, so yeah, uh, will it ever go back to twenty four or twenty eight? Obviously, I hope so, but I'm not gonna really count on it. So, uh, and this is actually a pretty good testament to Christianity too, because in the past I would worry and get scared and have doubt, but now I'm like, yeah, you know what? We get what we deserve. Uh, it's got, it's gonna have to, I have to let it happen. I also knew it was gonna happen because it's hyperinflation, right? Four hundred four percent APR. This always is what's one hundred percent gonna happen. Uh, the question is, can this? Can we still have four hundred four? APR, but eventually the price will ultimately stabilize at a certain per, uh, price floor. That's actually the experiment I'm always curious to know about. All right, for JMC coin, it only makes what is it, 62.5 percent APR a year. Uh, this I could definitely see an easy price floor. In fact, it's been at three to four for like the longest time, right? Regardless of whatever was happening over here, that's good because that because what we want is a stable price. What I also always wanted was a stable price with high APR, but I don't know if that's even possible, right? But now that, you know, again, now that I'm getting closer with God and now I'm working on my programming, um, and we're actually almost done with the uh, Battle Royale course. And the next course is RPG projects. It actually is going to look like a 2D project, so it's exactly what I need. In fact, I might even use the code from that project to build the beginning of the game. And then I have to modify it to add, like, you know, the Battle Royale module and all that stuff. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, um, so, I don't know, where could it really go, ultimately? Like, let's say, one, let's fast forward one, two, three years. I mean, it's going to be tough. I don't know, 404%? Because I looked at 808 coin, it's basically down to one Satoshi of a dog coin, unlike the random exchange or whatever, so... You know, so obviously it, it, that 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 eight hundred eight percent is too much. Sprouts Classic is seven sixty five, so that's too much. So four hundred four uh, without a use case, it would probably go down to like a couple thousand satoshis of a dog coin. But even then, that might be that still might be too much. Um, actually, there is a comparison we could use four twenty one coin unnamed exchange. Uh. Let's see. Oh, this is kind of nice. My coin is actually attached to Bitcoin talk here. So that definitely is going to trigger Mr. Eggman. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to go through the whole thing. I just want to get the direct link. Because 421 coin is 421% APR and it's on a 10-day delay. So, oh my. 4... 
No. 421. Uh, what? I don't, but it's, it's still there. Unnamed. Unnamed exchange. Hmm. So, what happens with 4, uh, 421 coin would be a pretty good indicator of what should happen with 404 coin. Because 421 coin's been out for a while now, so. Here's dog, search markets, 421. Because I'm pretty sure they did not delist it. All right, so right now 421 coin is 509 to 1086. Uh, people are buying quite a lot at 800 something. I think right now the supp coin supply on this coin is uh, out of principle. I'm not mining this coin anymore because you know fuck the 808 and Mr. Eggman community. After all the shit I did for them, then they come back and blame me for like tanking the coin when I was the only. Um, when I was actually Atlas Shrugged, I was the one carrying that stupid fucking coin. So, you know, uh, what is it that Jesse says? Yeah, they can let, let them suffer and die, right? Because, you know, you know, well, they, they, they showed ingratitude. So that's that. All right. So 509. So this is still pretty good, actually. And this is an exchange in which uh, there's not a lot of people here yet. So I don't know. On Crex, that's. Yeah, that's going to be a little tough because basically in a couple of years, 404, wait, where is it? 404 sub Satoshi price is going to have to be like three decimals or even four decimals because they don't have a uh, dog coin thing. So it's going to be kind of like really unwieldy, you know? So and it's another problem too because Bitcoin is just so valuable. Like when Bitcoin's like $40,000 right what if you need one cent worth of bitcoin because <clears throat> that's what this will be trading at eventually it becomes kind of a problem right but i mean that's what we'll probably have to do because i don't think it's going to stay at one uh in a couple years but uh yeah but we'll see by the way, even though the price will drop because the supply is so extreme at that point you should be making you should still actually be making more money at that point than we are today um but yeah but yeah even then um 421 coin after all these years it's still kind of stable at that price will it continue to keep dropping uh i don't know we'll have to see you know so there are a couple years ahead of us so uh so good buying volume there's a big dump at 63 for a lot of coins 19,593 two by two coins so uh, otherwise the real price is 66 to 69 so it looks like crypto is finally stabilizing here uh, and in real time, hopefully that also means 404 coin will continue to go up in price because it's just been battered like un irrationally, like like it just doesn't make sense. Uh, also, I've noticed that there's this idiot that just likes to complain about the price. So um, I didn't warn him, but I did delete his last message in the Discord. But I'm probably gonna ban him if he continues to just you know uh, complain and fearmonger and cry about the price going down. All right, you know that that, that stupid fuck has. Plenty of time to complain on the Discord, but, you know, is he retweeting my tweets? Is he promoting my videos? Is he, like, fucking doing anything? Like, that's what I find most irritating. Instead of complaining about it, why don't you go do something about it and just simply retweet my shit, right? You know, because, like, you know, no heart, like, except for, like, Dr. Sexy, right? Whenever she, I guess she's not busy, right? But no one really retweets or likes my, you know, stuff on Twitter or, even, well, actually on Gab people do it, right? Because it's Gab, so that's actually pretty cool of Gab. But Twitter, like, I don't see any uh, anything, right? Uh, sometimes on the YouTube, like, you know, I get some searches, like, you know, it's like, it, it's so irritating. Instead of complaining about, why don't you go do something, right? And it's like, my God, like, no wonder women don't like men, because there are so many beta male, I can't, I can't say certain words, because I don't want to get bad, like Nick Fuentes, right? But I think, you know, the F word, right, that I'm thinking of, and it's, like, very irritating, right? So, you know, I'm not getting angry, no, it sounds like it, but I still can get annoyed, right? But I'm like, okay, well, you know, he can't help it, right? He can't help being weak and beta male, but, you know, I still gotta, you know, you know, um, St stamp out uh not only simping but just like you know if you're just going to take away value and just be stupid you know and it's like you know just just get out so anyway um dog co or dog coin compound coins actually pretty rock solid six uh, 42 11 
Uh, Satoshi is a dull coin with a nice big buy order here, and it goes up to basically 5,500 Satoshis of a dull coin. So, did anyone actually buy anything yet? Yeah, we actually see a couple of buys, but not a lot. It's just this one guy, 4 million compound coin at 5554. Five, five, right? Otherwise, it's just sell orders. But, all right, you know, um, compound coin's stable. Oh, that's the other thing, too. Compound coin's 250% APR, and they're pretty stable. Uh, at this current price of 4,200 Satoshis uh, of a dog coin. So that's actually kind of weird. Uh, the, so I don't actually, let's see, let me, I'm going to pull up the get info for compound coins. The current supply of compound coins is now negative because there's too many coins. So I'm pretty sure there are more compound coins in circulation for compound coin, but it's worth so much more than 421 coin. Huh, I find that interesting. All right, but the problem is 421 coin and the Eggman and the 808 Camille, I mean, they're all losers, essentially, right? You know, or most of them are pretty much losers because they haven't moved on, all right? They rather blame me than actually doing something correct. And uh, yeah, they're not promoting it. It's hard to find any info. So yeah, so the price is actually lower than it should be too for 421. So um, yeah, it's like, you know, I don't understand, like, I really don't understand, like, how, like, it's so weird. They're, they have, like, this cult-like status. They're really attached, emotionally attached to the coin, but they don't actually want to do anything with it. It's like, what are they, what are they doing? So, let's see. So, this is 250% APR, but it will go down eventually to 125 APR when it hits block 1 million. 421 was at 500 to 1,000, but that's duped. But a lot of it probably is also due to the lack of uh, online support. Huh. So, yeah, because the reason why I'm thinking about it is where will 404 coin ultimately be? Right? Because the problem is we need this thing, st uh, we need a stable price. But I mean, if my game is that, I, mean, I, I think my game will actually be successful. I mean, it's been doing a long time. So I don't know. Will we be able to accept 404? That's the thing. Because. You know, the price is constantly fluctuating every 15 minutes or 30 minutes, right? You know, that could kind of cause a lot of problems. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll have to worry about it later. Well, I think I'm not supposed to worry either, but I think you know what I mean. Like, I'll have to just think on it later. You know, that's a little too, that's like kind of far in the future. So, and yeah, Jesse Lee Pearson also likes to insist that you don't worry about the past. You don't worry about the future. You don't plan for the future. Uh, just worry about today. You know, me personally, I always like planning ahead because I'm actually really good at that, right? So that's probably where I would actually have my first disagreement with them. But I would at least agree that, yeah, you should not worry. If you're worrying about the past or worrying about the future because you're worried or you have fear or you have doubt, well, then, yeah, that's Satan uh, taking over. So you don't want that, you know? So... Alex Jones finally becomes a Bitcoin believer. So he's finally, um, let's see... Bet with pro Bitcoin champion Max Kaiser. Ah, okay. So Alex Jones is now on board with Bitcoin. So, so the good news is conservatives are now finally realizing that cryptocurrency is a natural right wing technology. This actually harms the left a lot. Even though uh, left wing people tend to really like Bitcoin, they don't realize that it's actually going to benefit uh, right wing people a lot. Because let's say everybody, we all get censored off the internet. Well, what's going to happen when we start using like? Uh, truly decentralized stuff, right? We'll have we'll have BitChute that'll be decentralized, I think, right? BitChute's live streaming will be decentralized right out of the box and open source software. And we're all taking entropy, or in my case, I'll probably I'll probably be smart enough. Me and Mitch will probably be good enough to know how to code a simple script where you just attach it to the the BitChute live streaming service, and then just take cryptocurrency. And then what are people going to do, right? <laughs> you can't censor that. You're going to literally have to cut off the electricity or cut up the internet cables of the world. You're not going to be able to, like, that's just impractical. You can't do it, right? It's like the equivalent of, it's the exact equivalent of banning cell phones. You're just not going to do it, or smartphones. So, but good. Uh, Alex Jones has a massive audience, so now everyone's going to get into cryptocurrency. Uh, good timing, too, because uh, obviously it's going down in price, so, you know, it's going to be making some dough. Uh, Wales rake in USD nine million as uh, make Bitcoin market slides. 
Uh, this fake news article is still here from Forbes, which is very irritating. Uh, here's Craig Wright being a stupid fucking asshole, as always. Senior Bank of England, it caused a big digital gold effect. I really don't care about that. Uh, I only want to see, I want, to, I want the headline to read, I am now a Bitcoin digital currency believer, or something along those lines. And a Chinese blockchain lines, I chose new nationality. Um, uh, okay, or whatever. Uh, all right, this looks like fundamental adoption. Good enough. Ripple's biggest partner, Money Grand Launches, instant remittance prop with Visa, Ripple, and XRP is not included. Uh, okay, so it looks like Visa is still uh, competing for the payments market. So, all right, well, they're fighting a losing battle. So, <coughs> well, at least until they start in, um, accepting crypto. A remarkably accurate crypto trade predicts uh, one thousand percent bull run, significant short term pull. Uh, yeah, well, I think um, I think we've had enough of these uh, so called Bitcoin predictors. Bitcoin expands fiat on ramps. Fifteen new currencies now support Bitcoin. Uh, great. Now, now it must be Satan because now I'm just getting curious. Uh, okay. Now, all right. You know what? I, now I see. Now I see the devil. Now I see technical analysis. So I'm, I'm going to pass. If you're curious, you could watch. You could read it yourself, but I'm just not going to listen to him. Because there's literally like a, a million people making predictions. It's not going to be hard to find one lucky asshole. And that's all that it is. Luck. All right, that's not, that's not a substitute for skill, and it never will be. Binance expands fiat on ramps. Fifteen new currencies now support uh, blah blah blah. So that's good. Except we just snapped a two-year bench trade. Here's why two are flipping bullish. Uh, I am just curious to know who the bears who have become bulls are named. Uh, Josh Oshkowitz. I never heard of him. Uh, okay, and Johnny Mo. This guy sounds vaguely familiar. All right, so they're becoming bulls. That's all. That's all. That's all I was curious about. Okay, now I'm starting to get hungry, and I gotta go to Target to restock on groceries. You know, yesterday I spent twenty-two dollars and eighty-five cents or thirty-five cents on Chinese food, uh, and it was my own fault too because they actually said we ran out of half chicken. So you know they have chicken wings. So I tried that. When I finally got home. Was four four chicken wings. It was such a ripoff for six dollars. I ordered French fries and uh, ch uh, chicken wings, right, with my large beef lo mein, an egg roll, and steamed dumplings, which is eight, which comes with eight of them, right? You know, I just want, I just wanted some, you know, uh, cheating food for a day, right? You know, um, actually, I'm gonna have to try to wait. Well, actually, it's gonna be a while before I lose another pound because now, now my body's trying to adjust to being this low weight, and we're trying to go further down, and my body just doesn't want to do it. Uh, but yeah, I actually estimate I I um, I burn about eighteen fifty to eight uh nineteen hundred calories per day, right? Because I'm actually because I don't know what because I'm technically sitting down, but I'm using a kneeling chair, so that's more effort than actually sitting. So, but it's not standing. So, you know, at least according to the calculators online, that's about 122 calories an hour um, minimum. So, uh, wait, is it? Okay, no, 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 I'm getting um, calorie calculator activity. I don't remember the original search term that I used. Uh, Okay, actually, you know what? I need sitting. Uh, I think it's this one. I mean, th these results are constantly changing. Uh, if sitting while working, here we go. All right. Uh, enter my weight. I was 172.2 uh, pounds. Hours worked per day would be uh, 15. That would remain nine hours for sleeping. So let's say 15.5, enter time period one day. Uh, you're really going to do me in like this? So it's probably going to be the same error up here. I don't really sleep for nine hours, but I would like to sleep for nine. All right, you know what? Let's just say 15 hours and I sleep for nine hours. It's really more like eight and a half. All right, if I'm sitting while, see, this, this thing didn't ask me if I was male or female, so that also works. Okay, I agree and close. 
By static for three additional hours each day over the course of a year, you can burn up to 30,000 extra calories and eight pounds of fat. It's actually pretty nice. Seven point eight goals. So we sit on our, uh, and some estimate people sit up for 15. That's why I also have to be careful a little bit of my posture too, which is why I wish this kneeling chair would have, um, I was going to show it on Amazon, but I know they tend to show you your, it is a, hey, this is your zip code. And is this your approximate address? Even though you're not logged in, it's like, it's so, it's like so doxing unfriendly. Uh, kneeling chair with back support. Uh, I see kneeling chairs, but no, nothing with back support. Oh, there is one over here. It's $140 and it's only got like three star rating. All right, I'll have to take a look at it. I mean, I really like this one. I spent like 60 to $70 on it, but I guess it's, you know, fulfilled its purpose. Actually, you know what? Maybe I could give it to my sister. Uh, oh, yeah. Whoops. Uh, give it to one of my family members. You know, well, I guess I already mentioned, but... Actually, that I means a generic enough term, so... Because everyone's got brothers and sisters and parents, so... Well, most people do. All right, so let's see. I burn 1935 calories. Yeah, so just not doing anything, I actually burn a lot of calories. So I always make sure to either to stay like a few hundred calories every day below this number. And then when I work out, that's an additional 300 uh, calories burned. Because it takes so much effort for me to lift weights. And it usually takes me about 50 to, 50 to 60 minutes. I try to get it faster. I, can't, I try to get it done faster, but my heart just can't uh, keep up. It's like, okay, you know, we're tired. We, we just stop lifting. It's like, okay, fine. <laughs> so, but I always make sure to do four sets of 75 reps each. So that's like four times 75. That's 300, you know, you know, well, like whatever things, Cobra Tate exercises. 20 minutes of any fixed period starts to inhibit your metabolism. Hmm. Did not know that. If sitting while working, if standing while working. Uh, calorie burn increase. Yeah, we don't care about that. All right, because it's a lot easier just to watch your calories. All right. So anyway, we're at 36, 37 minutes. So uh, dark towers, Deutsche Bank dives deep into billions and losses, money laundering, manipulation. Hilarious. And core. All right. So basically, no news today. I don't even know what I'm going to title this, even though it's a long ass video. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes um, at uh, youtube.com forward slash the lemon factor BTC. <clears throat> Make sure you smash that subscribe on the right side of this page. And uh, yeah, um, I don't know, just just uh, just subscribe because because why not? Anyway, I'm honestly done for the day. Uh, I guess enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend because I didn't even know today was a holiday. <laughs> so uh, see you all tomorrow. Uh, hopefully uh, when things, yeah, cause, because I didn't, because that actually factors into a lot. Once the holiday is over, so basically starting tonight, hopefully we'll see a little bit more stable uh, stabilization and whatever the hell is going on in the crypto markets. But I mean, again, if the rich have decided to do more dumping, there's nothing we could do about it. So. There's clearly a lot of activity though, 193.3 billion. So a lot, a lot is happening. Um, it's hard to predict anything. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I don't know. There's actually a lot of good thumbnails here. Uh, X, X, X. Actually, you know what? That's kind of related to porn. So let's not do that. Um, all right, we'll just have a nice little generic Bitcoin logo. So see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And oh yeah. Did I already do my sellout mode? Yeah, yeah, sellout mode time. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and uh, I don't know, I'll have, to I'll have to figure out what the title of this video is going to be.